Have you ever imagined a spacecraft setting off into the unknown? And after a few centuries, future generations of humanity stepping beyond our solar system? Today, we're exploring an idea called chrysalis, a generation ship. Chrysalis isn't a spacecraft designed for a short mission. It's a conceptual project for a journey so long that no single human lifetime could complete it. It's not something being launched tomorrow, but it is an idea capable of changing how we look at the future. Why even think about a generation ship in the first place? The truth is, Earth won't remain safe and hospitable forever. Climate change, large-scale risks like devastating wars, resource shortages, all of these push humanity toward considering a backup plan. Now, this doesn't mean we should abandon Earth. Absolutely not. Right now, the smartest choice is to protect and rebuild this blue home of ours. But while we repair the house we live in, Having an emergency plan isn't a bad idea. So what exactly is chrysalis? Chrysalis, as an idea, is like a floating city in space. A generation ship where passengers don't just live for a few years, they're born inside it, grow up there, and eventually live out their entire lives aboard the ship. This spacecraft isn't designed to save the individual human. Its mission is to ensure that the story of humanity continues, even if one day life on Earth becomes too difficult. The potential destination is Alpha Centauri and the planet Proxima b, the closest known star system to us. Alpha Centauri is about four plus light years away, a distance measured in tens of trillions of kilometers. One of its most intriguing worlds is Proxima Centauri b, roughly similar in size to Earth, but its habitability is only a possibility, nothing more. What does that mean? It means the planet might be suitable for life, or it might not. We just don't have enough data yet. So for now, this destination is a scientific hope, not a guaranteed future. In some concepts and proposals, a journey like this is estimated to take several centuries, perhaps around 400 years. That doesn't mean we currently have the engines or technology to make it happen. It's more of a thought experiment, a scenario to help us imagine what might be possible. The speeds required the highly efficient propulsion systems, and a reliable source of energy, these belong to the future, not to today. So what's happening inside Chrysalis? Instead of a dry technical explanation, let's use a bit of engineered imagination and picture what life might look like. Artificial gravity. To prevent the human body from suffering the effects of long-term weightlessness, the ship would rotate under controlled motion, producing a centrifugal force that mimics gravity. Layers and structure. Imagine a multi-layered design, almost like a Russian nesting doll. At the core sits the command and communication hub. The next layer includes gardens, green spaces, hydroponic farms, storage areas, workshops, education and medical facilities, parks, and residential zones for families. Food and water. Food production would rely on dense, efficient farming systems, a closed-loop water recycling network, and strict waste management. Edible fungi, insects, high-yield crops, and small, efficient livestock, all raised under controlled conditions, air and health. Advanced ventilation and filtration systems ensure breathable air, alongside medical care and exercise routines to prevent muscle and bone degradation. Day and night cycle. Artificial lighting cycles would regulate the circadian rhythm. Engineered mornings, programmed sunsets, so the human mind and body wouldn't lose their natural sense of time. 400 years means many generations, 
and each generation carries its own dreams, challenges, and identity. That's why mental preparedness becomes essential. The first generation will need to be ready for isolation. Experiences in remote environments, like polar research stations, could serve as valuable training. Education and identity. What about the children who will be born on board? Children who will never see Earth? How will they form a sense of identity? History, art, languages, and Earth's stories must be preserved and passed down in engaging ways. Small museums, digital archives, storytelling classes, celebrations, and newly formed traditions. Recreation and meaning. Sports, music, theater, group games, gardening, joint artistic and scientific projects, all the things that make life feel like life. Governance and law. A small, enclosed society must have clear rules and a well-defined decision-making structure. Transparency, participation, and peaceful mechanisms for resolving conflicts. Propulsion. For interstellar travel, our current engines simply aren't enough. Proposed concepts include highly efficient electric propulsion, light sails powered by radiation pressure, or even more advanced propulsion systems yet to be developed. So far, none of these technologies exist at a scale suitable for a mission like this. Energy. Nuclear fusion is an exciting idea, but making it reliable and commercially viable still requires time. A mix of compact reactors and solar arrays inside the ship may be a realistic strategy. Artificial intelligence and robotics. From managing internal airflow to caring for plants, handling repairs, providing remote medical support, monitoring the structure, and running decision simulations, AI would play a key role. Robots would take on repetitive or dangerous tasks, so humans can focus on education, research, and the social fabric of the community. Sustainability and recycling. Every molecule matters. Closed loop systems for water, air, food production, and even rare materials would be essential. Vulnerability. Micrometeoroid impacts or human error could become serious threats. Layered design, smart compartmentalization, and strong isolation systems become critical. Medicine and genetics. Long-term health monitoring, prevention, and maintaining genetic diversity would be central priorities. But here, a profound ethical question emerges. Do we have the right to send future generations on a journey they never chose? There's no easy answer. At the very least, those born on board must be given full knowledge, access to education, the ability to make decisions, and above all, human dignity must remain at the center of everything. Now, let's assume we arrive. What comes first? Orbital probes and reconnaissance drones, chemical and biological analysis, establishing orbital bases, then surface shelters, experimental agriculture and environmental calibration. This phase would be a story of its own and could take years or even decades before settlement becomes a true home. Chrysalis is a mental exercise, a way for us to understand what we might need to do if one day such a journey becomes necessary. Today, we still have a long way to go. Advanced propulsion, sustainable energy, project economics, international cooperation, and of course, collective motivation. But history teaches us that when humanity focuses on a shared goal, the impossible become smaller. So, what is our role today? Take Earth seriously, because the best backup plan is still taking care of the home we already have. Reducing pollution, 
smarter resource consumption, protecting biodiversity, investing in education and research, from physics and biology to social sciences and ethics. Because a generation ship isn't just a machine, it's a society. Global collaboration will be essential. Projects of this scale are never single nation efforts. They require a union of science, industry, and culture. For now, Chrysalis is mostly an inspiring idea, a vision of a star-bound city carrying generations toward the future. And if someday we truly need such a mission, the knowledge we develop today, from clean energy to collective psychology, will be the bridge that takes this idea from imagination to reality. If you enjoy content like this and want the algorithm to know we should continue, leave a comment and tell me, what do you think is the biggest challenge for Chrysalis? Energy, social psychology, or ethics? And if you think someone you know would find this fascinating, save this video and share it.